and I was fortunate that that first show had designers like Rohit Bal and Reena Dhaka and you know who were just coming up at that time and when my dad saw it he had tears in his eyes. It was hard because um, you know there's there's a lot of people that you have to deal with that kind of don't take women seriously. Somewhere there's a block about should a woman want to be a president or a CEO? Um, does that really work? It's important at every stage uh, to support women around you. My family, current, my family is very supportive. My sons are very supportive. Anytime I say I want to do something, everyone kind of comes together to make it happen. Last year, we went on uh, the 100 km Oxfam trail walk and my uh, younger one, who was 12, uh, would wake up in the morning and keep my shoes and socks ready because he wanted me to achieve. Uh, so I started out in journalism and I traveled to India doing documentaries. India, China, Central Asia, uh, and then I fell in love with India more than any other place. And I knew that I wanted to stay. And I knew that I wanted to be here for longer. I mean, I, I remember when I had my first daughter, Gopalika. I was doing rehearsals and models were outside and I came into my personal room and I was taking my contractions because the show was the same evening. And um, eventually, you know, uh, I had to go to the hospital and Ritu Singh, who was a Miss India, Ritu went and she said, Rashmi, don't worry, because I had choreographed the show by that time and you know, they went and did the show. And uh, so it was, and then I had Gopalika, and then after that, for 21 days, I didn't do any work, and after that, it was back to work. So I, I feel that, you know, choosing between marriage, career, it's irrelevant. Both are important. Well, in video and cinema, it's a very male-dominated profession behind the camera. Uh, I think it's less than 5% of cinematographers and directors are women. So I've learned to be tough and be relentless and uh, very physical and uh, creative at the same time, I would say. I think more or less it's been great in a lot of ways because I feel like, um, one, because I think a lot of big organizations, when they see women, they just don't think that they're competition, really, because they think like, oh, like my sister has a baby and she's married. So, um, and I'm of marriageable age or whatever you call it. So they just don't, you know, they, they don't take you as seriously, which is great because being the dark horse is, um, is a great thing. So I think uh, one of the most integral parts uh, to the part for my success, and I think for a lot of other people as well, is uh, it's very important to have the right support system and have um, someone who sort of holds you through it and keeps you going through the goods and the bads of uh, working on your own and uh, I think I've been really really lucky to have a great family that supported me through all of this and uh, in fact I, in many ways I would have to say push me into doing what I'm doing today so uh, I think it's very important to have that right support system. Uh, we are so so intolerant to diversity of any kind and it's not just about gender diversity but anybody who even brings a very different way of say dressing or walking or has different choices in what they like to eat or <laughs> so we are not as tolerant uh, so that kind of uh, reflects even in the corporate world and, and, and to, as, as you become as you go towards leadership uh, positions it tapers down and the day I got promoted uh, to being the CEO and I went home and my younger son had made a cake for me and it was a jacket with a sari, in fact maybe a little like this and he said, Amma you've become a sari, not a sari. And really that's what drove home to me that a sari is something which is as powerful or if not more powerful uh, than any suit.